Hello, this is Telecom TV. We are at the Wireless Global Congress in London and I'm talking with Rick Wilmer, General Manager of Arista. Rick, welcome. Thanks for talking to us. Oh, thank you for having me, Martin. Let's get straight to it. Let's talk in general first, if we might, about SDN, NFE, cloudification and so, and so on. They are the key issues surrounding network transformation today. What stage are we at with all of that? Is it all coming together the way it should be? Is it taking longer than anticipated? What's your take? Well, I think it's coming together. It's not done yet, that's for sure. Um, I think you've seen the hyperscale guys do some remarkable work in terms of cloudification and building the cloud, and Arista has been a major part of that. They've provided much of the networking infrastructure that the cloud as we know it today runs on. So a lot of the automation and technology that's been developed in the hyperscale guys is now being pushed out into the enterprise, into the large campus, into the service provider sector to bring the same types of benefits that they've enjoyed in the major hyperscale cloud market uh, into the rest of the world. You mentioned Arista, your company, of course. How is Arista helping its CSP customers to accelerate their network transformation journey? What do you, what do you bring to the party that speeds everything up? Well, Arista brings some remarkable innovation to the party. Um, we were acquired by Arista uh, a few months back, and the vision that this company has uh, for uh, cloudification and automation and a single uh, way to view and manage a network is profound. It's going to be much different than what we've seen ever before in the past. Um, what Arista's done in the data center is develop a solution where they collapse the multiple layers that have existed in a network before uh, down to one layer running one single software image across everything. This is amazingly powerful. With the acquisition of Mojo, we can now bring that same approach all the way out to the edge of the network and the client devices. And what can be accomplished when you can see everything from client to core with, through one single uh, view of the network is going to be profound. That sounds really fascinating. How far along the road are you towards that? Because it's always been you know, the, the holy grail in many ways of what you, what you would need to be able to do to see a network like that. Absolutely. So with the acquisition of Mojo, uh, because of the nature of Arista's software architecture and our software architecture, we've been able to integrate the products remarkably quickly. The, uh, the first version of an integrated solution with Arista's uh, EOS, the extensible operating system, along with Mojo solution, will be available in Q1 of next year. This is where you're going to start to be able to view data across the entire network from one single uh, solution that we call Cloud Vision. And under that Cloud Vision umbrella is where all the features live that allow you to see all this network data. Uh, there's clearly more to do after that initial integration but it's moving very, very quickly. And what we're going to be able to do with this single view and this single software image and this single aggregated store of data uh, is going to be amazing. Given that profundity, as you said, well, what are your target market? Are you starting in the US and North America, or is the world your oyster? Oh, the world is our oyster. Uh, Arista is absolutely a global company. Mojo was a global company prior to the acquisition of Arista. We had a lot of customers in in India, in Europe, uh, some in South America, and Arista's got tremendous presence throughout the globe, so we'll remain, remain a, global, a global force. Um, in addition to focusing on the big cloud builders, uh, we're also focused very much so on enterprise. And as with the Mojo acquisition, Arista starts to move beyond data center and into campus, large enterprise, service provider, uh, etc. So this is the big expansion that Arista has planned is through the acquisition of Mojo is to move out of the data center into the campus and, and these other markets that, uh, that would benefit from what they've built. Thanks very much. Can we move on and talk about 5G and Wi-Fi? It seems inevitable then, given that is happening now, that there are going to be consolidation in the Wi-Fi industry because, my word, there are a lot of Wi-Fi providers out there. Mm -hmm. um, is that what's going to happen? And if it does happen, does it matter? You know, it, 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 it has happened already to a large extent. I mean, there's been at least seven or eight Wi-Fi companies that have been acquired in the last three to five years. And we were just the most recent one that was acquired. And in my opinion, we were acquired by the best potential company possible in terms of technology. 
Um, and it wasn't driven by 5G. It was driven more by the criticality of Wi-Fi as a connectivity technology. It's become so pervasive everywhere. In the workplace, we're running into companies now that don't even have Ethernet ports anymore. The only way to get on the network and do your work is through Wi-Fi, which means it's mission critical. And in the consumer space and the general public, uh, whether you're engaging with your customers or trying to provide internet connectivity in a municipality, it's become fundamental. Uh, because it's become so critical as an edge connection technology, every major networking company that wants to play probably needs a Wi-Fi asset, which is what's driven the consolidation in this industry. And it's just about done. I mean, there are very few, if any, small Wi-Fi companies left to be bought. Uh, they're all, they've all been grabbed up, and, and again, we were, we were the most recent example. Staying with consolidation, finally, what do you think consolidation might mean in terms of the problems and the opportunities as far as network complexity is concerned, network management, and automated problem resolution is concerned? Yeah, that's a great question, because there's been a lot of consolidation in the networking industry outside of Wi-Fi over the years. Sure. And that is typically not solved problems like those you've just described. If anything, it's, it's ex exacerbated those problems because large companies that had the financial wherewithal to make acquisitions were buying companies to enter another product segment. They would acquire that company, they would bring that product into the fold, but they wouldn't integrate it with the rest of their products. And what we ended up with in the market today is what we call a bunch of silos. So you've got a certain series of products with operating systems and hardware platforms that do Wi-Fi. You've got another set of products that do edge networking. You've got another set of products that do aggregation and core. These are all silos. They don't have a common network management system, a common operating system, a common hardware platform, and it makes for very high complexity to manage. You need a lot of individual experts at each of those silos to manage those pieces of the network, and the interfaces always don't work very well. This is the grand vision for Arista, is to, is to bring all this together under one consolidated solution. And there's been a, as a result of all these silos, there's been a whole industry born from that that does network monitoring. There's plenty of companies that stick widgets throughout your network and are able to grab data and tell you what's going on holistically. Arista is going to obsolete the need for those kinds of companies because we can not only monitor the en entire network from client to core, we can act on it. And this is where the real power comes. And I think that's part of this question is that when you eliminate all the silos and you can aggregate the data from core to edge, data is power. Data is what machine learning and AI is based on. And it all happens more accurately and more rapidly with more data. So if you can put all that data together and give people views of the network, what's going on, what's moving where, who's talking to whom, more importantly, you can now use that data to automatically resolve problems. And that's where the real power comes in. I'm going to ask you one more question, which is, it sounds great. When's it going to happen? It's happening now. It's happening as we speak. Um, I can do a demo today and show you how Wi-Fi problems can be fixed automatically by our system with no human intervention. We've got multitudes of examples of different kinds of problems that cause users to look at their phone and say, the Wi-Fi is no good here. Well, many cases, we can recognize those problems as they begin to happen before the user notices that their session is slow or their call is breaking up. And we can intervene and fix those problems before the user ever notices. That this is real and it's happening as we speak. So those silos will be flattened. They'll be they will be eliminated. Exactly. That's exactly what's going to happen. That's quite a promise. Rick Wilmer, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Martin. Pleasure talking to you.